Hi guys, it's Adam and today I'm going to be showing you um, a quick glimpse at an auction haul that I just picked up. Um, yeah, there's no way I could do a live stream for this one. It would just be too overwhelming. It would be chaotic. It would be disorganised. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip you around and I'm going to just show you some of the highlights. Um, I actually paid 267 quid for all of it, so everything you're about to see. I might break down certain prices, um, certainly on the Lego actually, um, but yeah, just an overwhelming amount of stuff. I'm going to actually, I'm just going to tilt the screen this way a bit and I'm going to put a few pictures up there right now, um, so you should be able to see the car was absolutely full. It was packed um, and it probably is the biggest auction haul, if not the biggest haul I've had, so yeah, without further ado. I'm going to flip you around now and I'll show you the haul. Right, so here it is. It's all that Lego over there. And I'll show you that in a minute. And then all this here. There was a few lots I sort of take, have taken a punt on because they were cheap. There's uh, Electra coming in to explore what, what, what I've got. Um, but yeah, there's a few lots I took a punt on. Uh, a few lots I think really I could have used not buying. Um, as in there's not going to be tons of profit in it, but that that's that lot I'm talking about, that Millennium Falcon lot. Um, there's still going to be a bit of profit in it, but that's the only lot I'm like, me, mm, you know. Um, but there's always, you always get one lot like that. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to be able to go through all of it. She's wondering what I'm doing, I think. Um, I'm not going to go through all of it, but I'll just like, you know, pick out a few best bits and uh, give you a bit of uh, information about the haul. So, yeah, I mean, down here we've just got a big old random box of stuff. That isn't the original lot. We've actually, that's like all different lots mixed into one new box now. But we've got some rally car magazines that were part of a lot. That wasn't a lot on its own. We've got that three of these horses, plastic horses. I've seen these before, but I don't know value. I don't know what they are or anything like that. Um, and then we've got some other, like, toy things brand new in the box. We've got a large job lot of random cars and other things and Hot Wheels stuff and just random, random bits and bobs really and there's some sort of, didn't even see those in the job lot but there's some random sort of dolls in there as well. So yeah, the random lot, I mean, I think the, there, was, there was a box of toys and there was, um, actually there was a box of toys and it was with, where is it now? Where's, oh, it's under there, but in that box is a big, um, like a PS2 driving steering wheel with the pedals, and it's in its box, actually. Um, I'll try and take that off in a minute to show you, but I don't know whether I'll be able to with one hand. Um, but, yeah, with that, there was another big box of toys, and that cost me about, I think it's either 25 or 30 quid plus commission. So, I was fairly happy on that. Considering that, I should get about 20 to 30 quid for it on its own. Um, but yeah, so that'll be like kind of what's mixed in there. there. Um, I think the magazines were in that job lot as well, but I'm not 100% sure. And then all them toys there were probably in it as well. Uh, those toys on top of there were in it. Um, and then we got an, I got another job lot. This was a load of... There is another box. I don't know where it's gone. Somewhere around. I think it might be under... No, no, it's not under there. Don't know where it is, but it's somewhere around um, with a load of like army figures in it. And that was in this job lot with the Millennium Falcon parts and some of the few other little random odds and sods there. As I say, I'm not as confident on this job lot. May have made a bit of a mistake on it, but I'll certainly get my money out of it because I've got this nice little uh, wooden sort of, oh, I don't know what you call it, but you can, it's sort of almost like you can put little tiny little trinkets or something in there, or spices, or I don't know. But it's a nice little thing, and I'll probably get some money back just for that on its own. So, yeah, I've got some money in there, but I was just wasn't as confident on that job lot. Under here, I'll try and get this off. Better not squash the cat. Um, I've got a really cool job lot. I mean, as you can see straight away, big massive tribal mask. I'll actually go in a bit there on that and make that my thumbnail. Um, but yeah, and it's got this really nice sun mirror. Um, oh, sorry, I'm shaking a bit there. Uh, it's got this really nice sun mirror. 
I paid, I believe it was 20, 20 quid plus commission for that job lot. And I really did take a punt on that. But I think that some mirror might be worth something. Not mega money, maybe 20, 30 quid or something. But certainly if I thought, you know, if I thought I could get about 30 quid for that, that pays for the job lot. So then whatever else I can get out of these tribal masses, this one here, which is quite nice. And there's another couple in there and might be something else in the bottom. Um, whatever I can get out of them is profit. It was a real punt, but I just wanted to, to go on that. It was pretty cool. Um, oh, there's the, some of the figures. They're down there, actually, the army figures, some of them. Uh, I've got a job lot of ceramics in that box there. General, just bread and butter, low-value stuff. But it was only a tenner. We went right down to a tenner, and I thought, yeah, it's a full box of ceramics. I know I've got things piled on it we shouldn't have, but... Um, yeah, I thought I would I would take a chance on that. So it's just a box of ceramics. Box of blastware, a bit like this. Rather, oh God, rather heavy and rather large blast um, rocking chair. I don't know what I could get for that. Maybe 20 quid or something. I really haven't a clue. Um, and then we've got these. These are actually quite nice. You've got little lids. And I think the graduated. I think it's a graduated set. Um, but they're like copper and glass. Um... Or just blast, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, they were quite nice, so I got that job lot. And now this job lot was really cool. And the reason it's really cool is from these. These are vintage American... Uh, if I just... These are, these are vintage American license plates. So we've got a 1951 there from California. We've got Texas, 1960. 1965 Florida. Uh, Minnesota, I think that must be 1959. 1977, North Carolina, Michigan, that's one of my favourites, Michigan, 1959, uh, and then Nation's Capital, 1962, um, so yeah, they were really cool, and I paid 15 quid for the job lot, um, I just wanted them, I honestly I just wanted them, I might be tempted to keep a few of them for myself, um, the rest of it is not great stuff, I might get some money back on it, but... Yeah, I mean, that's not terrible. I mean, there's probably some money in that. Um, and then you've got these little things in here. I don't know. There's probably not a lot of money in it, but I just couldn't help myself and I had to buy them. And I think there is some money in them, to be honest. To the right people, maybe. I don't know. Um, and then I've got this little thing, studio pottery thing or something. Um, oh, actually, with that, I don't know. I don't think that's anything, actually. Sorry, it's not focused in correctly there, but... Yeah, I don't know. Don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway, that was that. And then there's a few other little bits, odds and sods, but nothing nothing really there. Oh, um, I got a job lot of records for either £10 or £15 pound plus commission. Can't remember. One of the two, though. Um, and there's loads of different ones in there. Just took a punt on it. You know, if there's one or two ten pa or maybe, you know, two or three £10 pound records in there, I've got my money back and... Um, then I can pull out a few for myself, and I can car boot the rest or whatever, so... And if you don't go at car boot, I can always charity shop them or something. Um, and you never know, there might be some people who I can actually give them as gifts for or whatever, so... I just couldn't... I couldn't resist buying these. Um, but yeah, I thought for 10, 15 quid, there's got to be one or two in there that are worth something. Um, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just looking through now. I haven't a clue, really. You know, there's not going to be any major ones in it. It's very unlikely. If the auction has gone through already, it's probably unlikely. But I was looking at that one, actually, a second ago. Non-stop rock. Non-stop rock. That looks pretty cool. What's it? Uh, schools out. Uh, children of the Revolution. But I think these are, like, covers or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I'll have to go for all of them. There's probably what... 30, 40 records in there. I haven't a clue. I haven't a clue. But yeah, that's those. Um, and then all this Lego, which in my mind was the best purchase of the day. I was expecting to get none of this. Um, usually at my local auction, it's all online. Collectors come in. They bid it up like crazy. But at my local auction, they do not, they do not specify weight on the in the description, right? So, um, basically, I went down with my scales that I use for postage, and I weighed all of the tubs, and then I estimated how much the tubs would weigh, uh, just like, a, you know, an estimation, and then I basically minused the weight of the tubs, or what I thought was the weight of the tubs, 
off the total that I got. So it would give me an estimated total of the actual pure Lego weight. Um, and then I went through the tubs a little bit, you know, saw there's a few minifigs in there and stuff like that, saw that a lot of it was genuine Lego. And um, yeah, sort of set my prices and of what I wanted to pay. And honestly, they didn't go up. The prices just didn't go up that much. And maybe it's making me think now, actually, that a lot of sellers are now turning away from Lego. And maybe I made a bit of a mistake buying it. And maybe it's a bit uh, less popular. But, I, you know, I still think this is going to be good money in this anyway. So I paid £40 plus commission for one job lot. And I paid £45 plus commission for another job lot. Uh, in one job lot, there was 8.1 kilos of Lego. And then in another job lot, there was... Se no, sorry... 8 point something kilos of Lego, and then in the other job lot, there was 17.1 kilos of Lego. So, I know it was 25 kilos, that's loose Lego, that's not including the weights of the tubs. Um, and that's not even including what I could actually get for the tubs, because, you know, these are official Lego tubs, so I might even be able to get some money back for the tub on its own. Um, so yeah, 25 point something kilos of Lego, plus the tubs... Uh, for £85 plus commission, so just over 100 quid really, all in all, and I'm really happy with that, you know, I, I have to say that was a decent price, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to go for all, going through all that, and there should be some really decent money in that, so yeah, that's that, um, plenty of stuff to be working through, I've already got a ton of stuff in the spare room to process, so I don't even know how all this is going to go in, but we'll see, we'll see, but that's that, so my, my top picks for this haul that I like the most are uh, the mirror, the African mask, um, the license plates, the vintage license plates, and um, what else? I quite like the horses. I mean, you know, the Lego, I like the Lego, obviously, it's profitable, but it's not very exciting, you know, it's pretty standard stuff. Um, oh, but I did want to show you, actually, in this box here, this really piqued my attention because this is... Um, a Lego tank in in the tan bricks. Now, as you as you see, it's got its little thing there. It's like partially built up. Now, there there was some sets done. There was some. I think they were called like Lego Army or something or something like that. And I think they're fairly sought after now. So if I've got one of those sets in there, that could be decent money on its own. Um, but it's whether I actually want to go to the extent of building it all up, I've got a sealed poly bag there, I'll see if it's worth going up to FBA, but I doubt it will be, so I'll probably just sell it on its own, um, but yeah, loads and loads of Lego, some uh, more vintage style ones here, uh, some more Lego and vintage ones, thicker vintage stuff there, I'm not going to go for all of it, but you get the drift, you know, load, loads and loads of stuff, we've got a, uh, kitchen scale there don't know what that's worth but yeah um and then loads more of it sets after sets after sets the other boxes i think are sealed up but well not all of them but there's there's loads of minifigures actually well not loads there are a few minifigures just in this one here um don't know if you can see but there's some minifigs down there and down here already that i can see poking through so yeah decent so there you go so, yeah, I'm really, really happy with that and some baseboards and stuff as well that I might be able to sell individually. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to have a lot of fun going through this because I think there might be some exciting bits in here. I'm not sure, you know, but I think there might be some exciting bits uh, of what I saw at viewing. Um, so, yeah, there's some more in there. So, yeah, happy with that. So, I just wanted to check in and sort of share that with you. I'm sorry I couldn't do it live, but it just, as you can tell, I just couldn't. I just couldn't show it as well as I could, well, I, I just couldn't really show it live, let's just say that, because it's just too overwhelming to all just be crowded in my bedroom, so, yeah, anyway, so I'll leave it there, guys, thank you very much for watching, I know it was just a quick one, but I don't have time to go into detail on every little thing, it's just got to be a quick overall haul, and then we're sorted, so give it a thumbs up if you did like the video, uh, obviously subscribe if you haven't already, um, and yeah, that's about it. So I will see you in the next one guys. See you very soon Hi guys, it looks like I'm doing like a weird selfie here But I just couldn't be bothered clipping the two videos together So I thought of an ingenious way of doing the video without actually having to clip uh, Two videos together because I, I wanted to basically do a little bit of an intro with me on camera But I, as I say I couldn't be bothered 
doing it so that then I have to flip it round again. So yeah, um, so I'm gonna show, this is really weird, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna look in the mirror actually. So I'm gonna show you, it's really weird because I'm looking at myself, but I'm talking to you, it's really, oh, that's weird. But um, today, oh, this is, no, this is just too weird. I'm looking at the phone again. So um, today I'm gonna show you my room. This is unlisted stock, by the way. This is all, well, apart from the little bit that I'm gonna show you that is listed, it's all unlisted, so pretty crazy. I'm going to show it you now. I'm not going to. It's not going to be a very long video. I'm just going to quickly uh, show you. But yeah, this is what happens when you when you basically you can't list or you don't want to list as much as you're sourcing. Um, so what I'm going to do is just go down. This is the cabinet box here with a random Disco Days record on there. Uh, we've got Edward Edwin Star, Don, Donna Summer, all that, all those classics. Um, but here, first off, 25 kilograms of Lego from the auction that you did see, well, or that you will see in the whole video. I've still not got around to editing that yet, um, so you probably will see this video before that one. Uh, I've got my Royal Mail sacks up there, I've got quite a few of them up there, um, which is good. The guy, uh, I go down to my Royal Mail office and the guy always gives me quite a lot, so I don't have to go down there every day. Because uh, I seem to get through sacks quite, uh, quite quickly now. Um... But basically this stuff here um, goes too deep. It goes basically this this row and then another row at the back. Um, there is five boxes at the row at the back. Uh, well, there's like a... There's four boxes and then there's a little small box on the top at the back. So there's like five boxes there, five boxes there, four boxes there, four boxes at the back, and then those stuff on the top. That's all Amazon FBA for Christmas. So, yeah, quite a lot of stuff. Uh, I think there's 18 boxes altogether, something like that, uh, or almost 18, because that one isn't quite full. Um, but yeah, it's just crazy amount of stuff. There's actually, a, this is my car boot haul from, oh yeah, sorry, yeah, I, mean, I just didn't even realise, but yeah, so that's the, that's the, the Amazon FBA Christmas stock, which I'm trying to still build up, hopefully get to 20 or 30, oh, tw not 30, 20, maybe 22, 23 boxes. I really wanted to get it to the ceiling, but you know... I've just not had enough time, so... And can you imagine all that weight on the floorboards there? I mean, if I got it to the ceiling, it'd be pretty chaotic. But then we come to the stuff that I bought at the car boot today. And this is what I was meaning, that if I get another car full on Tuesday, um, literally, that will fill up all here. And then I won't be able to photograph items, because it's bad enough as it is. I can't even get my lights in a very good position. I mean, it's okay there, but... It's not the best position, and I can't really get that light in a great position because of this Lego. You know, it's it's not a bad position, but it's just not much room to manoeuvre it. So, yeah, that's been stuff from the car boot today. That is uh, just three or four weeks of build-up, auctions, charity shops. Those five bin bags, there are six bin bags, have got... I know, sorry, sorry about the lighting as well. Uh, they have all got vintage... Um, or, yeah, yeah, vintage, not antique, but vintage dolls in. Um, some quite nice ones in there. Um, and, yeah, some nice accessories and stuff. There's a nice little uh, wooden walking horse and stuff like that. But I paid 50 quid for six bags full of accessories and dolls. And I think there's got to be something in that 50 I don't know. Honestly, I've not done any research. I just thought on the sheer volume of them, and they are marked on their, on their necks and stuff, some of them. I know a few of them have Leonardo collection and stuff on there, but I don't think those ones are the best. But um, they are marked anyway, so there's just got to be some money in it for 50 crafts for the sheer volume. So, don't know, but there's got to gotta be something in that. But, yeah, loads of stuff. Boxes go pile back. All under there is full with stuff. Um, so, it's just, it's just insane. It's just insane. And then I've got processing table, which is meant to be clear for processing. Um... Yeah, it's just full of stuff as well. That Tonka's been there for about three, two, three months. Uh, Jurassic, oh, they're cool. They're cool, I'll show you these. Well, I mean, they're not that cool, but, they're, you know, they're all right. Um, Jurassic Park sealed uh, official movie cards from 1993. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, well, that was a fail, fail throw. Uh, a load of games on the top there. Which, you, know, you, you know the drill. Um, but yeah, so pretty crazy. Now, this stuff here is the listed stuff, this little bit here. Don't know why my jacket's in there. I think my mum put it in here, but I don't know. I honestly don't know why that's in here. I think I'm going to take it out, actually. Um, 
But basically, I keep putting this in my room. And then my mum, I think, I think it's my mum. My mum keeps putting it in here, so I don't know why. Um, I don't know whether she likes it being in my room, because she doesn't particularly like it. Um, but no, yeah, that can stay in here. Anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. Uh, oh, yeah, actually. Right then, I'll leave it there, guys, and I will see you in the next one. So thanks for joining me. Uh, put a comment down below. What do you think? Is it a good thing having all this unlisted stock? Because it is Christmas, you know. You need quite a lot of stuff ready for the um, fourth quarter and the run-up. But is it a bad thing? You know, is it is it bad to have all this stock? Is it good? What do you think um, about having piles of shame and un well, not necessarily piles of shame, but just a lot of unlisted stock? You know. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.